Hello, this is Dalen75 Games. Welcome back to another Let's Roll Play of Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition. I am Galadron, the ro uh, fighter rogue. <laughs> I believe that's what the actual class is called. Um, fighter thief. I'm going to have to get used to that. Every other uh, role playing game basically calls it rogue now. But it's fighter thief. Okay, so uh, we have our journal. We are just outside the inn. Gorion, my foster father, has informed me that we must immediately leave Cattlekeep and set out on a journey. He has given me some gold, and I must purchase supplies for the road, including weapons and armor. Alright. So this is Cattlekeep. These are the watchers, the guards. Uh, grown up here. All my memories come from being uh, within this place. Oh, you can zoom out a little bit. I didn't know you can do that. Oh, wild. That's new. Okay. So yeah, this is the keep where uh, all the studies go on. So basically a big library. Several le uh, levels of library, actually. And here's the inn. As you can see, a candle keep in. Not a problem. So I have to go in and to buy hmm? supplies. Forgive me, I, I have to get used to all the controls. I mean, so I, I haven't played this in over a while, and I'm so used to what I've been playing recently. So these are the tutors. There's somebody over there in the corner. I think it's a visitor. Not a problem. And uh, here's Winthrop. He's been here as far as I, as long as I can remember. And he's also uh, my best friend Imowen. He's the one that's kind of sheltered her and taken her in. So I mean, I can go talk Hello, to these scribes. Child. Shall we continue your lessons? Okay. So you don't need to. These are just. This is just how to play the game, but I'd like to speak to this stranger here. He looks like a very powerful wizard, actually. It's a hard to find decent folk nowadays. Oh, yes, I'm back within the hallowed halls of Candle Keep. With this iron crisis upon us, the trip from Baragos was more hazardous than I care to relate. You're Garion's ward, aren't you? My, you have come into your own, if you wouldn't permit an old man jealous of youth to say so. Hmm. I left an identity scroll with Teth Toro in the inner grounds. He should be done examining it by now. So if you could fetch it for me, I'd be grateful. So he is... They won't always introduce themselves, but he is Fire fire Bead Elven here. Very strange name. I wonder how he came across that one. Okay, so this is Winthrop. My hotel's as clean as an elven arse. Well, hello there, young one. Come to visit your old pal Winthrop, have you? Well, don't forget the 10,000 gold piece book entrance fee, as per Count Keep's custom, don't you know? <laughs> you always were the big kidder, Winthrop. That gets funnier nearly every time I hear it. Well, perhaps not quite so often. Ha! Just having a bit of fun with ye, my friend. Them monks may be walking around with poles in their nethers, but you know you are always welcome here in my sight. Gorion did well by you, he's did. So, is there anything I can do for you? Some drinks, a room to sleep, or anything to buy? Sure, what do you have? Alright, so... Yes, out of character, you can rent rooms. Uh, I don't want to because I'm not staying here for the night. We have to leave, uh, as per my foster father has said. I really don't have that much. I actually have a staff on me. Uh, I can, of course, buy alcohol. I've had a, f a fair bit in my life, but I've never been a heavy drinker. I'm also kind of young. and Not that uh, the young can't drink. It's just that it costs money. And uh, I don't... My uh, foster father wouldn't really... <laughs> Lend me the money just to go drinking. I'd have to earn it myself, and I've I've had a little bit of an allowance over the years, but not very much. Not enough to drink it much. Okay, so I really don't have much at all, but let's get what fits with me, and that would be a long sword. I have 120 gold. Long sword. I always like this beginning part. Uh, a short sword. Now, keep in mind, there is a severe iron crisis going on in the Sword Coast, where we are. And uh, iron, often, a lot of iron, if not most of iron, um... It's brittle and it'll break with uh, some usage. So keep in mind that these are not exactly the strongest that you can get. Okay, so I need leather. Uh, we'll go with a leather shield or studded leather armor. Uh, where's my oh, 83 up there? So I have 53 left. I could go with a helmet. Bracers. What do these, these do? These don't do anything, actually. A uh, girdle also doesn't do anything. Uh, but a helmet actually should. It protects against critical hits. And, uh, uh, I don't know, I can't use my middle mouse button? Oh, I guess I can, yeah. Nice. We'll go, we'll buy a helmet. 
I've never really been one to use ranged weapons, although it does have its usage. But uh, I haven't trained too well with it. I, I have a bit. I can hit some things, but not too well. Uh, Emma Wynn is much better at that, actually. She's, she uses a, a bow. quite. That's her main weapon, actually, that she's trained with. But uh, we always joke that if we get in a fight, she'll stand back and uh, pepper them with arrows while I go forward and confront them with my swords. Okay, so I think that's good enough. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know if I can sell this, but we need to put this leather ar armor on. Put this here, and... Okay. Is it showing it? I don't think it's showing it. Oh. Uh, is it sp There it goes. There's the second hand. Yeah, these are... This is for quick weapons to switch back and forth. Now, let's put my helmet on. And that's it. 52 gold. I can probably get rid of the staff. But I've been training a lot with... Uh, there was never my own sword. My hotel's as clean as an elven arse. As good to see as any other I could have laid my eyes on. Make yourself as comfortable as you will. If you wish for anything, just ask. Yes, I just want to see if I can get rid of this quarter stuff. I guess not. It's just a piece of wood. And it's not very well put together one. Alright. Uh, ah. Okay. So there are some rules uh, about how I'm going to be playing this. And first off, I'm going to save right here. Uh... Let's go with that. Okay, pause. There are some rules, and the rules will be... If I absolutely screw up the game, um, I'm going to reload. And this is like one of the games that if I make a bad choice... Well, if I knowingly made the bad, uh, a choice and I suffered consequences, that's I will have to stick with it. I will suffer the consequences. So what I mean to say is if I am trying to sneak and uh, trying to rob somebody and the guards come in and start fighting our group, and our group starts fighting the guards, kills the guard, and then half the group leaves because they disagreed with that. I obviously will have to reload. I can't... You, it, Being a good person, that's not something I would want to do. Um, I can rectify my uh, reputation by paying, paying for it, or by doing good deeds, and I know that. However, there are times, and especially in this game, where I will fail in combat, and where I will also fail doing something that I did not mean to do. And, uh, sorry, I'll fail while trying to do something, but it will fail. So there's some certain quests where you have to sneak in, and if you're seen, then obviously I'm not going to live with the consequences. It could screw the whole game up. Uh, not in every case. There are some cases where I'll let it go. But it, it's not that I'm trying to uh, save scum. Well, it is a bit of save scumming. It's just that certain things, especially with being a stealthy rogue uh, thief, I guess, in this case... If you've played this game before, you'll know that it can, it's not always easy to do it. Now, I can... I think I do have to put certain keys... Uh, like, s sneak. Yeah, I'm going to have to look that up to see how I can sneak. But, it's a chest here. Uh, it's always best to sneak while doing this. So I'm going to need to find the keys. I'll, I'll be right back. Okay, they're right down here. Uh, I, I don't know how to rebind it. Apparently there is some way. I just I can't figure it out at the moment. Uh, so, thieving... To unpause it. Stealth. So it tells me if I fail that I'll realize, oh, there's people in here. Hmm, who are you? No time to chit chat. Step up to the heat, young one. You'll need a good fire to warm the chill stairs of those monks. Most inhospitable, aren't they? Isn't that so lovely? Oh, noble woman. <laughs> oh, yes, darling. They're most standoffish. They lead us somewhat. Uh, what should I choose? They lead a somewhat cloistered life here, so they are unaccustomed to many visitors. You are perhaps a bit colorful compared to what they are used to. Colorful? Dear, perhaps we should dress a little bit more plainly to fit in? It's Thurston. It's worth... It's the man, the husband, I guess. It's worth a try, my dear, though our clothes may only be half of it. They certainly couldn't react any worse than they have. I thank you for the suggestion, Galadron, and for putting it tactfully. Good eve to you. So, yeah, th these are obviously books. A dagger. Actually, I'll take that. Now, there, a lot of people in this game are not happy with you stealing, so that's something you always have to be on lookout for. Also, keep in mind that this is an older style game. Where there's going to be a lot of reading, and if you don't like the sound of my voice, you probably won't want to watch these videos, but I've always been complimented on my voice. Uh, sometimes I slur my words and screw up a little bit. 
Well, I'm reading a lot, but no one's perfect. All right, so uh, best thing to do is go out of sight from, from people. I don't think he can see me. Let's fail. Well, I'm not an expert at hiding, but I figured I'm, I've gotten pretty good at it over the years. Well, let's just try to open this up then, shall we? <laughs> Always save. I don't know this the uh, what that is uh, the the button to quick save. Quick save. Okay, I opened it up. Oh, there's some gold, armor spell, and infravision spell. Let's go upstairs. It will be done. Well, if I'm leaving and it's important, I'll see what I can pilfer from these guys. Uh, Oh, I should be able to unlock this. Oops, that's detecting traps. Okay. Very nice. Okay, so he... There's a guy sleeping in that room. Okay, I was able to go into stealth. Oops. That didn't work out because it was already unlocked. I should check these things first. Somebody's sleeping there. Oh, and there's a chest here. Let us, uh... Nope. Wasn't able to make it that time. That's... I'm going in and, in and out of stealth, actually. There's no one here. So unlock that. Oh, unlocking failed. Uh, if, if it comes down to it, you can always bash the lock. Well, this is not cooperating. This is a very difficult lock for me. Oh, there's a, oh, there's a man here. I'm not going to steal when he's standing there looking at me. I Don't recognize him. Touch me. I might catch there's something. always people coming to the inn and visiting for quite a uh, long time, some of them. Yes, might I help you? I was just wondering who else might be sharing the inn with me tonight. Who might you be? I might very well be anyone, but I am Christian of Waterdeep. Likely you would not know my family name or history, and this suits me very well and good. These trips to Candlekeep are a bit of an extravagance on my part, and while I use no illicit substances, substances or neither consort with hired company, I spend quite enough here that I should not like it common knowledge. To this end, I should, I should appreciate it if you would forego your little odd attempt at introductions and leave me to my thoughts. I know of him, actually. Um, yeah, he's a little bit rude, isn't he? There's another fellow in here. Away with you, beggar! What? I certainly hope there is an explanation for this intrusion. Explain yourself. <laughs> Just getting to know the neighbors. Who might you be? My name is Quincy. Beyond that is my own business and none of your concern. Leave lest I report this intrusion to the guard. Okay, I don't have any luck there, and there's nothing in here. But there is this spot where this fellow is sleeping down in this room. So let's go here. Try to go back into stealth. Try to hide. It's always best to do it... Um, I don't mean to go into there. To do it uh, when you're in the shadows already. This is not a bad spot here. Oh, there's light right there. Uh, okay. No. I think I, I have better luck. There's a lamp in there. I'll try it one more time. Uh, quickly go. There's some kind of potion there. I better go because you may have heard that. Okay. With these. Yikes. Um, what did I get? I got a potion. Potion of clarity. Uh, quick items. What does this do, actually? I'm really an expert in all these things. Uh, special prevents feeble mind, confusion, fear, and charm. Okay. Well, uh, Galadron is quite. Not he's not super intelligent, but he's well read, and uh, he's never had interest in the magical arts, uh, you know that uh, most of the scribes here or wizards here are into. But uh, I close the door. Please close the door behind me. But uh, yeah, he he knows quite a bit about uh, every little thing. Let's see, it's another tutor. One of my Shall tutors. They're all over. I've had research. many tutors throughout my life. And who are you? Oh, I remember. Hello there. Fildia. Oh, hello. Hey, have you seen my copy of the History of Halrua anywhere? You know how I can't stand the constant shuffling of arthritic feet up in the library, so I thought I'd get a bit of fresh air just east of here, and oh, I hate being so absent-minded. Please, if you find it, I really do need it back. 
Okay, so she needs her book, History of Hauru. I've actually read that book before. Oh, it even says the name of everybody around here. That's new for me. A character, of course. The cows. <laughs> There's a farmer that tends to those over here. Is she was saying her book is just east of here? Did she say that? You know, yeah. I think she, she's a little absent-minded. What is it? Oh, yeah, this is the priest quarters. Let's go in here. I wonder if she left it in here. Hello. Not a problem. Oh, goody, goody. I've gone and found you first. You are the word of Gorion, no doubt. I do not recognize you. Who are you and what are you doing here? Who am I is unimportant, but who you are is very much so. I apologize for this dirty bit of business, but I must seek your death. A pity, I know, but it would seem your head is worth an exceptional amount to me. I'll, I, I kill you myself, and I need not share credit with anyone. Oh, that's great. Is he joking? Guess not. Huh. That wasn't too hard, actually. I've never killed anybody before. He actually was trying to kill me. What is going on? Okay, so... Warhammer... Somebody left that there. It's the priest quarters. It does make sense, but there's no priest here. I hope you didn't kill anybody. Okay, so this is locked, so let's unlock it. Dagger. These are worth basically nothing. Hmm? Parda. Galadron, you cut yourself above the brow. There. What is wrong, child? Something in your eyes tells me something is very wrong indeed. Uh... I'm not sure if I should be saying this, because Gorion wants us to leave right away. I don't know who he's told, but... It's it's nothing, Parda. One of the cats didn't like me petting it. I'm alright, really. Hmm. Yes, well, get what you need from the inn, then, for Gorion is, is desperate for you to be off. Well, I guess he did tell Parda. It will be done. Okay, here's the farmer that tends the cows. What do you need? Uh, Fildia left one of her books in here again. It's in the hay there beside the cow. If you could run it over to her and then come back, I've got some plans for you. <laughs> okay, I am a little bit busy, and, uh... I'm not... Here's her book, History of Hauru. I'm not sure why somebody would try to kill me. What the heck is going on? Let's go back, then. Bring her her book. At least I can feel good about doing some good deed. However minor it is. But I've never left Candle Keep. I've been here all my life, so we're leaving. It's a little bit exciting, but why is somebody trying to kill me? Hello there. My book. Oh, you remind me of Gorion when you grin like that. Raising you has been hard on him. I know, but he says it's a toil of love, a toil of destiny, even. You must be a very special child, indeed, to draw such praise from a man of his silent nature. Here, take this little gem of mine. Maybe Winthrop will give you a little something for it. Thank you, Feldia. Now, the farmer said that he wanted me once I return the book. But this is what I always do. I do errands all day, basically. That or I'm studying at the keep. Or, and on my time off, uh, yes, I do, what do you need? practice with weapons. Or I s break into places and steal things, but I don't do that as much as I'd like to. Uh, Drepin, nice day, ain't it? Too bad Nessa here ain't enjoying it. Though her being sick and all, I need to get her one of them potions of antidote off Hull. He's staying up drinking last night and got hauled out of bed to man the gates early this morning, so I bet he's got a few of them lying around somewheres. Okay, oops, I don't want to speak to that person. It's of no consequence. This is like the priest area. Priest of Agma. These walls contain the world's knowledge. I am pleased to see that you've taken time to pay tribute to wise Agma. Uh, I was wondering what he had to offer at this Temple Wisdom. So this is to donate. Uh, not that we have much money. And these are spells that they'll cast on you if I feel like... Oh, Potion of Healing. Uh, oh. Uh, I don't think I want to buy that. That would be all of my money. Wish I had more money, actually. And he, th he won't buy anything I have. You're kind of useless to me right now, sir. Uh, one of the Watchers. 
one of the guards here at Candlekeep. It's a good thing we're not called upon to defend Candlekeep more often. I have a cousin, Nashville, that sent word of an iron shortage that is beginning to cripple their local guards. I guess I've heard of that too. It's actually becoming a bit of an epidemic. The Temple of Ogma. So Hull, he says he's on, he, Hull is on watch. Uh, where the gate is just down here, is it? Yeah, Hull will be down there. And who hey, are you? Yeah. Oh, hey there, Galadron. I see you're up to early this day. Well, your father, Gorion, has asked me a strange favor. It seems like he wants you to learn some fighting and asked me to be the teacher, so I hope you brought your staff with you. Oh, I brought more than that. Hostile creatures have red circles around their feet. Okay, this is all out of character. Uh, I don't really need to do that. Um, he's going to spring a little surprise on me. Remember, you can press spacebar anytime. Okay. During the fight, he's doing it now. I see the surprise behind me. Hey, yeah. You did good, kid, especially after Eric started firing those arrows at you. I'm sure your father would be proud. You should go talk to the Gate Warden if you want some experience in fighting with a group of people. You can find him just south of here. Out there, it can be pretty important to know how to fight with allies at your side. This is a storehouse. A little chest that's open. And Revor. By Moradin's hammer! I thought I asked you to clean the rats out of the building yesterday already. Hop to it. Get in there. Ugh. Yeah, I didn't do it because I hate killing rats. So I guess I kind of... It's a little bit of a lie. I've never killed a uh, humanoid before. I've killed rats many a time. These things always keep coming back. Onward! With these. And the cats. You're not really doing your job, are you? Maybe these rats are too big. They're pretty large rats, actually. Is that all of them? I think so. Oh, there's a ring there. With these. Oh yes, kill them hammer. like the rats that they are. A glorious battle unlike any this world has ever seen. Here's five gold pieces. Don't spend all in one place. Well, that's one way for me to make money that but I just you know, kinda nasty with uh, a little bit of rat rat blood spilled on my new armor. Or I guess it kind of flashed up on my armor as I was slashing them in half. All right, Hull, you, you're down here. You're manning the gates. There you are. <sighs> hey, kid, I woke late this morning. I left my sword in the barracks before going on duty. If you want to get it from me, it's in the chest at the foot of my bed on the right side of the barracks. Quick now, before the gate warden catches me without it. You'll also find an antidote there. I think Drepin needs one for old Nessa. Ugh. Yes, I am the young Galadron, training to be a warrior. And a thief. Don't tell anybody. Gorion has never approved of the thieving aspect. Our rules are very strict. It's the gate warden. Soon be gone, will ye? Hey, Orion asked me to teach you a wit about the finer arts of mass combat before ye leave. Can I pique your interest with it, Galadron? Yes, gate warden, I would appreciate that. Well, I guess I've got to do this. Good then, child. Tis one thing to maintain control of yourself in the heat of battle, but to... Tis quite another to maintain one's authority or a group. I've asked Obe, the illusionist, to run through a few simulations for ye down in the storage cellars. Just follow me this way, and I'll unlock the door for ye. In here. Wisdom is only possessed by the learned. Yaladron, the gate warden arsed me to prepare a little way... <laughs> little going away party for you. A bit of mass combat practice is in order. It seems like Gal Garin has told everybody in the keep. I believe, well, I'll make it real simple for you. Candorus, Mordain, Arcanus, Arcanus, Deader, and Osprey are all going to join your party. You'll have complete control over them, same as you will with anyone else who might join you for your coming travels. Once they've all joined your party, I'm going to summon in several illusions of common monsters you might encounter outside the safety of this keep. These illusions will attack the party, and it will be up to you to issue the necessary orders to dispose of them. Remember, these creatures are illusions, and they won't be able to hurt you. Try your best to kill them. However, because in the real world, pain, harm, and even death are far more real. 
Some of your comrades will have magic items such as potions and wands. You'll have to equip these in the quick slots of the characters who have them. Some of them also have spells. You can cast these during the battle. Remember, even rogues and warriors can benefit with a good understanding of these more arcane forms of combat. Every so often I will ask you if you have had enough. If you have, then I shall teleport you back outside. If you wish to continue practicing, however, then I shall create some more illusions for you to fight. Are you ready then? Good. Here we go. Okay, you guys are all my party. With ease. No, I've never commanded a group before. Yes, friend. Okay, so you are a cleric. Hey! You. Are you a rogue? I think so. Yeah, he's got a dagger. I need a sleep. Okay, here's a warrior. Hello. And uh this is a mage. Let's see it's get her to cast magic missile on that illusion. Hello there. And you are a cleric. You have spells, but just just get in there and start fighting. And I yes. will go and start fighting too. Hello. I stand ready. Hey! I need a sleep or something strong to war. You're not doing your job there, buddy. Hey! You go there, you go there, and hmm? I'll go here. Do you have a combat spell? Yes. All right. Yes, it will be done. Wisdom is only Have you had enough yet? If you're ready to go, I'll teleport you back aside. Otherwise, you better be ready for some more fighting. I think I've had enough. Just take me outside. Okay, then. Once I teleport you outside, you're not going to be able to get back in here again. This is for your own protection, as the illusions I use can sometimes be dangerous. All right, well, I, I don't have time to spend all day doing things like that, so... Well, I guess I'm going to end the video here, guys. Uh, I'm going to go get whole sword and get the antidote off of him. Or the antidote's right next to the sword, but I'll bring him his sword anyways. So I seem to be Aaron Boy today. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.